evening. Is there something you would like to tell me about that thing in your tummy? Surprise, surprise. I know everything, my darling. Oh, yes, I do. Anyways, there's really nothing to worry about, okay? Absolutely nothing. I will not freak out on you. And you, in turn, you do not need to freak out. All you need to do is fasten your seat belt because it will be a bumpy ride. So, it's okay. It's okay. Come. No need to freak out. Okay, relax. Okay? Mila has promised not to freak out on you. So yes, it's a You know thing. life is just like a circle. What goes around comes back around. You don't need nobody to tell you. It's certain you reap what you sow. Do not be surprised when your past come knocking at the door. Yeah. Hey. So yeah. Your mistress maid is pregnant. What? Hey, Bruno, why do you have that look on your face? I mean, you did it with her anyway, so what were you expecting? A ball? Hmm? So we do nothing about about the whole thing? There's nothing. Listen, you do not pee, you do not sneeze, you do not zone out. Okay? Nothing at all. The good thing about it is that I will not shout. Please, please, Mila, please don't do this. Please. But do. that is my prize. I'm not asking you to kill somebody. Come on. Mila is such a nice wife don't you think listen that child belongs to me yes because that same child belongs to my legally married husband so I want that child and so it's easy <laughs> My husband, I am a sweet wife. Smile, husband. I have heard what you two said. It's difficult for me, but I'll leave the child. It's okay, Evelyn. It's okay. It's all right. Okay, do not cry. Listen, four million naira is a whole lot of money and it will change your life for good. See, you do not have anyone to look after this child. So this is for your own good. You need to accept this offer. I mean, it's not like you have any other choice, though, but look on the brighter side, okay? Listen, my husband and I will be paying you 60% of the money by next week. So you see, we want the best for you, okay? It's okay. You'll be fine. Trust me.
Where do you think you're going with that child? Hmm? I'm going back to my village. I can't leave my baby. I love my baby. Evelyn, you cannot go back on this deal. It is not possible. You can't do that. Madam, please. I'm no more interested. If it's the money, I'll, I'll pay you back. I'm leaving, but I can't live without my baby. Can I have that baby? Oh Evelyn, can I have that child? Oh Evelyn! Oh Evelyn! Oh I said, give me that child! Oh that child to me! Oh oh have that child! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh no! Bruno! Bruno! It was a mistake! I don't know why so it was a mistake! What did you do? So it was a mistake! <laughs> no! I Come on! What were you thinking? It was a mistake! It was a mistake! But it was a mistake! Oh my god! Bruno! Bruno, listen, listen! Let's, let's, let's carry her out, okay? Yes, let's carry her out! To where? Where do we carry her to? Bruno, to the bush! To the bush! To the to, 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 to Anywhere! Just be somewhere! Oh my god! Oh my so god! Fast. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you thinking? What are you doing? Hey! Hey! Yes. We have to turn ourselves in. Okay, we need to go to the police and turn ourselves in. Okay? Because this is murder! I know, what do you mean we need to turn ourselves oh, in? Oh, it was a mistake! I yes, oh. We cannot turn ourselves in. Oh murder, God. intentionally or not intentionally, is a jail term for life! And I'm not ready to risk my life. Listen, we will put our lives in jeopardy if we do this, okay? Please! Let's just take her out, okay? Okay, let's, 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 let's dump her somewhere. Please! Come on, please! Let's for something to wrap up. Please! Please! And you can. Bruno! Hurry up! Oh, God!
know what, darling? Mm. I am so glad. I mean, really glad we're able to make this vacation. Yeah, I mean, I'm really happy I got a house in Lagos. Mm -hmm. yeah. What a house in Lagos. <laughs> and we took this vacation, you know. I know. I'm really happy. I know, I know. I mean, we can at least forget about what happened yesterday. True. True. So, are you not going to work today? Well, I told them I'll be late. Huh. So, we have time. And what about the baby? The baby. Well, the baby's not waking up. Even if a nuclear bomb goes off, and you know that. Oh, what is wrong with you, Bruno? You are such wrong? a bad man. You know that, right? That's why you married me. <laughs> huh? Babe, if you would ask me, I would tell you to let sleeping dog lie. What are you saying? What I'm saying is that you should not do something crazy. I own myself and I can do whatever I want. But holding God does not make you strong. Very easy to say. I'm going to have to live with a memory for the rest of my life. Secondly, I can never ever forgive a deliberate act. But we sin deliberately and God forgives us. Thank God we are not God. Today. Why? Do I look like a client? Actually, you do. Well, I'm sorry to break the news to you. I'm just an intern. Intern? Yes. Wow. <gasps> Whoa. Jeez. Whoa. Are you okay? Yeah. Sorry about oh that. Are you God. okay? Yeah. You sure? I'm not Thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah, I should give that to you. It's not an issue. It's okay. Are you following me? No, I'm just taking these files to Mr. Offer's office. They said it's this way. Bruno Offer? Yeah, you know him. You probably do. Yeah, because that's me. Really? Yeah. <laughs> this way. All right. Wow. 
beautiful office. Thank you. Tastefully furnished. Um, you know, taste is not a difficult thing when you have money, I guess. I guess you're a man of taste then. <laughs> and who exactly is a man of taste? <laughs> well, um, a man of taste is someone who doesn't compromise when it comes to pretty things. Is that so? Absolutely. <laughs> hmm. So, mm. are you going to tell me what the celebration is for? Well, I'm celebrating my beautiful wife whom I love more than anybody or anything in the world. <laughs> that is so sweet. And I mean that. Hmm. And to you, my darling husband. <sighs> I asked God for a moon and he gave me stars. I love you, baby. No, I love you more, Bruno. <laughs> Goodness God. What is it with all of these baby yells that I have to deal with? What? Bruno, listen, I did not begin for this. Well, babe, uh, being a mother is not child's play, okay? Now go take care of that baby. This is all you've ever wanted. I can't, Bruno. You can't. No, I mean it. I can't. Babe. Well, you are the father too, and looking after a baby is a joint responsibility. Has it occurred to you that maybe the father doesn't know how to make himself useful? No. No? I do not think so. Learning is not that difficult, Bruno. So you, have a life. You're a great mother. You're great at this. Get what you pay for. Um, listen, just get back to me when you're ready to discuss figures, okay? Yeah, yeah, okay. All right. Hello, Mr. Offer. Hello. Uh, give me a second, give me a sec. Chloe, am I right? <laughs> yes, you remembered. Uh, nice shoes there. Oh. Thank you. Must be expensive. Uh, an intern like me cannot afford expensive shoes. Ah, uh, yeah, but I'm sure your man can afford expensive shoes. Um. Mm. Well, if you say so. Um. Would you like to do lunch? I got lunch. This place is nice. I like this place. Really nice. Yeah, it is. Nice location, great service. It's nice. Yeah, really nice. It's nice. So, are you married? Uh, 
Um, yes. Yes, I'm married. Uh, I've been married for five years now. Okay. Happily married? Uh, yes. Yes, I'm happily married. Why'd you ask? You didn't say it right. <laughs> so how am I supposed to say it? Well, you shouldn't have had to think about it. I can hear eyes cracking. Can you hear that? You're quite self-opinionated, <laughs> aren't you? Well, that's what people say about me. <laughs> okay, so you tell me, are you married? Oh. Nope. Mm -hmm. Men are allergic to me. Boyfriend troubles. Oh. It's really stupid to say. I used to see this guy. Uh -huh. He just called me one hot afternoon without warning, so explanations. He just dumped me. Wow, that's cold. That sucks. But well, you'll be fine. I'm sure you'll be fine. Oh, I got over that. I have moved on. Man, I just come. Wow. <laughs> really? Yes. That's interesting. You know, I'm a man, right? <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, if I forget. Uh huh. Um, Sunday is my birthday. Oh, really? Yes. Happy birthday in advance. Thank you. Am I invited? Of course you are. Great. Only Great. if madam would let you. Ha 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 ha. That's very funny. <laughs> That's very, very funny. You got jokes, huh? <laughs> A lot of them, actually. Interesting. They're all very funny. Yeah, so cheers to my jokes. Cheers to your birthday. Yes, my birthday. Are we allowed to bring gifts? A lot of gifts. I don't come without a gift. <laughs> Just imagine being stuck under a sleeping child with a dying phone, a full bladder, a cold coffee, and no TV remote. Is that life? And Sammy Bruno. Hey, shut up, okay? Since you can't do it, I'm doing it. What do you care? <laughs> Sorry, dear. But you see, just like motherhood, fatherhood comes with a great honor and privilege. Oh yes, it's a life changer. Mm-hmm. As a matter of fact, it's, it shows you a whole new perspective on why you wake up every day. Hey, shut up! Why is it so difficult for you to shut up? Huh? I said shut up and face your face. Okay, that's all you care about. Just painting your face like a masquerade. Bruno, you do not have to pour your aggression on me. Okay? You don't have to. <laughs> I am not your maid who has to sit at home and look after a baby while you're away at work. I have my own itineraries, don't you forget. And by the way, I, I think it's obvious that we need the services of a maid now. What? Mm -hmm. Help? Yes, a help. Oh. Are you afraid that history is going to repeat itself? Huh? <laughs> oh my goodness, my darling husband is afraid. Husband of the year. So how did it go? 
going well, I think. Are you sure he's all that into you? He can't get his eyes off me, so I think he is, and time to strike. Not yet. So now you have to dig deep, ask more questions, get him to fall in love with you, play with his head. Then and then, you strike. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Hello, I uh Hey, are you celebrating alone? Hmm. So like a solo birthday thing. There are so many things you don't know about me. Thank you. I'm a very private person. Huh. So you thought it would be a fantastic chance? Yes. To dance and um, drink alone. Are we not okay? Yes. So would you rather I go to the nightclub or to the beach? Or maybe to the Bahamas or something? Ah, well, no, but you know what? Whatever rocks your boat. Um, so I need you to taste my cake. Uh, or would you rather taste cakes? Uh, I uh, like sticking to one cake. Right. That's how I was raised. I don't feel that. Oh, come on. Hmm. It's actually nice. Thank you. You're welcome. You know what? Happy birthday. You know? Thank you. I wish you the fruition of your dreams. And I mean that. Amen. And <laughs> I got you a little something. Oh. Yeah. You really didn't have to do that. Really? Let's be honest here. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Why did you do that? 
because I just felt like it. Have a problem with that? Oh, more wine. You need mm. to get drunk tonight. Would you like? Wouldn't you like to get drunk with me? I. Oh my God. Cheers again. Two. Hey Bruno. Hello. Can I sit? Of course. Um, how are you? I'm doing good. You? I'm good. I just came over to um see I really appreciate you coming by yesterday and for a gift as well. Oh, it's not a uh give me a second. Okay. Hello, babe. Uh okay. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I'll pick it up on my way back home. Okay. Bye, love. All right. Bye. Was that your wife? Um, yes, yes. You know, I really envy her. You do? Good home, good husband. I really need one of those for myself. Well, you get one. I'm sure of it. Uh, was that how it was with your wife? Um, yes, actually. It happened pretty fast. Hmm. Love at first sight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it happens. Okay, not just in the movies. It happens in real life. Mm. Yes. With that look on your face, I doubt. Oh, well, look. Mm. Mm. You doubt it happens? Yeah. Are you sure? I'm living proof. My wife and I. Oh. Uh -huh. Yes. I see. Hi, babes. Yeah, so how did it go? Fine, but he seems distant. I mean, are you sure this is gonna work out? I don't know how I'm gonna get him to speak the truth. The hags and the pegs, they are far away from what could make him spill. <laughs> Have you thought of using sex to trap him? Hell no. I'm not allowing that wizard climb me. No. <laughs> I'll be a fool to allow him to do that. There ain't no confession in sight. If you must get to the root of this, you have to be open-minded. See, babes, men love sex. Read my lips. Men love sex. You can manipulate that man. Yeah. Think about it. Yes, hello. Is um <clears throat> is Miss Chloe around? No. Okay, let me know when she gets here, okay? No, just let me know. Alright. Is she here? Chloe, yes. No? No. Okay. Remember, let me know. Okay? All right.
Hello? It's still not here. Uh, no, no, nothing. It's fine. Okay. All right, you go back to work, okay? Yeah. Hi. What happened? I was waiting on you at work, but you didn't come and you weren't picking up your calls too, so what was the problem? I just wanted an a long time. Why? I mean what's going on? Bruno, you don't know me. So I can choose to stay alone if I want. It's okay. Um yeah, I miss you. No. I miss you too. <sighs> so, what do you think? About, um, oh, well, I think the photographer is uh, something else, to say the least. Well, I am the photographer. Hmm. Well, it's... It's different, you know? Yeah, but that still didn't answer the question. Uh, well, it's, it's not my taste. Your type? Mm hmm well, your type can change. What are you looking at? Uh... What are you thinking? <clears throat> oh, nothing. Nothing. Okay. Liar. You're wondering if I'm wearing anything underneath. Well, I'm not. I'm so sorry for embarrassing you. Oh, yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did. I did? Yes, you did. I'm so, so sorry. Ah. <sighs> So, um, <clears throat> baby, I was going to ask you, 
My friend Vivian has promised to take me to some very expensive places when I come to New York this summer. Yes, and you know how Vivian can be. When she says a word, she means it. Ah, oh. you know, I was thinking, baby, would you like to come with me? Hmm? Bruno. Yeah. Are you okay? <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Baby, you didn't come to the office today. I waited and waited for you. So, what are you doing now? Have you eaten? If not, would you like to eat? Because I've been thinking maybe I could come over and cook something special for you. <laughs> By the way, this is not a request, okay? Um, all right, I'll see you tomorrow. Till I can't no more. I got the horses in the bed. Oh, mm, and what do you think you're doing? I am cooking for my baby. Oh, that's yep. such a turn on. And why is that? Well, watching a man use his hands to delicately create something turns my mind towards what else you can use those hands to do. You're a bad girl. Oh, am I? You're a really bad girl. Isn't that why you love me? Why I love you? Wow. Oh, you don't love me.
already fallen in love. <laughs> I told you, most men do not resist sex. Jesus Christ. Okay, so what next? Okay, okay, okay. I think I have a plan. Come. Baby, what's up? You didn't tell me you were coming. Well, Bruno, since when does taking permission from you before I come to your office become mandatory? Uh, uh, baby, I didn't mean it like that. You know I didn't mean it like that. I... Bruno, is there something you're hiding from me? I mean, is there something I need to know? Something like what? Well, I'm just saying, you alone know what you might be hiding. Please, Mila, don't start with me right now. I am begging you, okay? Because I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. <sighs> of course you don't. But you know what, Bruno? It will be a shame. Oh, yes, it will be a shame and very stupid of you if I get to find out that you're doing something really ugly. What is your problem? You come from my place of work, you're mad at me. You tell me why you're mad at me. You know how frustrating that is. Bruno, I know the husband that I'm married, and because I know who you are. What have I ever done in the past to warrant this kind of treatment from you? That is not supposed to be mentioned because we know what Bruno! you're doing. <clears throat> Listen, Mila, let's continue this at home. Okay, we talk about this when I get home. Bruno, and I say we talk about this here and now. This is where I work! But I do not Take care! Take your voice down. How are you doing? I'm not fine. What's going on? Why do you sound like that? I'm sick. Have you been to the hospital? No. I'll be fine here. No, you're not fine, okay? You're absolutely not fine. You should... You know what? I'm on my way, okay? Yeah.
Hey, me. Hey, what's the problem? You're crying. Why are you crying? Huh? Talk to me. Why are you crying? What's the problem? Is it money? Do you need money? Hey, you know, I'll do anything for you. I love you. You know that. Baby, talk to me. Is it a, a new car? I can get you a new car. No, I don't want anything. Then what's the problem? <laughs> Come on. Bruno. Yes? <laughs> talk to me. Have you ever truly felt remorseful about your past sins that whenever you think about them, you just feel like drowning yourself? I don't know I'm going to get out of this emotional dilemma. Hey, 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 get a grip of yourself. Okay, get a grip of yourself. You don't run away from your negative, painful thoughts, you know? You analyze them. Why is it so painful? What mistakes did you make that led you to them and try to avoid it? That's what you do. <laughs> you really don't understand. You make me understand. I was helpless. I was desperate to survive and put food on my table. Life was extremely difficult. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, stop crying. Just talk to me. The stories about how people dying wretched was in fact my lot. And I had to survive. By all means. And I met this man who took me to a hotel. And we had sex. Go on. Come on. I'm not judging you. I tried to steal it from him, but he caught me. He wanted to disgrace me. I mistakenly stabbed him to death. <laughs> and I've been living with this guilt since. To the point that whenever I remember it, I just feel like taking my own life. No. Bruno, I'm filthy. No. I don't know how I'm going to get out of this. <laughs> um, it's okay. It's okay. Okay? You can actually bury this and move on with your life. Learn to forgive yourself because you deserve it. You owe it to yourself. <laughs> I just want to end it all. No, you're not going to do that. Because you're not alone in this, okay? I have my own fair share of guilt staring me in the eyes. I'm not a saint. How? Oh. I've done worse things, okay? Let's just say that. Please, Bruno. No, worse as mine. Stop trying to make me feel good about myself. Just allow me to mourn my life. My wife and I uh, committed a very terrible crime. And my heart still bleeds because I was an accessory to that crime. Huh. What exactly was the crime? My wife is, um, Emotionally unavailable. Emotionally unavailable? Yes. Yes. I was, um, I was sex starved. Um, she doesn't like sex. My wife. We couldn't birth a child. It was a very trying time for us, you know? Uh, so I, uh, I started raping the house help at the time. Her name was Evelyn. She got pregnant and uh, my wife found out. She decided she wanted to keep the baby. In order to pacify her, I agreed. 
I spoke to Evelyn and she agreed after she gave breath. But something happened, you know? And uh, my wife pushed her and she died. Uh, in order to escape the law, I wrapped her up and threw her in the swamp. You did that? Yes. Yes, I did. knows I feel so guilty about that like I feel terrible about that so there you go but you can't dwell on that we can't dwell on our past mistakes Hey baby, how you doing? What the hell is wrong with you? How dare you? How? You cheat! How dare you? How dare me what? You know so well not to play games with me. <sighs> Femi Ajibadi Street, Aja. Who is she, Bruno? And tell me, how did she give it to you? Front, back, or center? You know? Because I know. I, I, I know everything, Bruno. I know everything. How could you do this to me again? Babe, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so, so sorry. The last time you cheated on me with a maid. Babe. You remember how that went down, right? I'm so sorry, babe. I'm really, really sorry. Please forgive me. I'll never Bruno, do something. Sorry is another excuse to do it yet again. No. Babe. But I will not let you. Babe, please. Do you know what, Bruno? What's a moment of weakness? Do you know what? What? This time around, I will cut your joystick and I will feed it to you to eat. Try me. Babe. Get out. Baby, I was. Don't, don't. Don't you come near me. Oh, babe, I'm sorry. Babe? Hi, babe. Hmm? Did you do it? Yes. Out. We have to act faster now. Yes. Just go. Go inside. <laughs> go! been able to get anything tangible out of him but I will put more effort in getting the truth out of him trust me all right bye so who was uh, who was that um nobody really it's just this agent that succeeded in duping me oh. of my money and the police are on his case to get the truth out of him as to how he squandered my money. That's, I mean, you have to be careful about these guys that pose as business people these days, you know? Yeah. Just out there defrauding on suspecting men and women, you know? It's for me. You sure?
Babe, we're in trouble. Okay, we're in big trouble. I'm so sorry. Bruno, what okay. are you on about? What are you on about? It's all out in the open right now. We're, we've been busted. Okay, I didn't know what I... What it's... is all out in the open? What exactly are you talking about? Look at this. I don't know. I, I, I confess. I didn't know what... I, she tricked me into it. Right? She tricked me into it. I, 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 Shut I, your mouth! What have you just done? But what have you just done? Mila, if you ever try to slap me again, I swear to God I'm going to kill you and take my chances in court. Have you lost your damn mind? Huh? Are you mad? If not for your desperation, that would kid that you can't even have because of your perforated womb, we wouldn't be in this situation right now. Well, Bruno, if it wasn't for your itching groins, she would have still lived. Yeah, itching groins that you watched day and night and you did nothing about. Absolutely nothing. Okay? You're such an incestive woman. Bruno, did you... Did you just call me insensitive? Oh, yes, I did. Okay? I called you insensitive because that's what you are. You're insensitive. You wouldn't even have sex with me properly. You wouldn't give me a kid. You're so lazy. I am tired of your lazy, lazy, lazy self. Okay? I am tired. And I hate you. I hate you. Like, I really hate you. And what exactly are you? What are you, Bruno? A bloody rapist! That's who you are! Oh, I'm a rapist. Huh? You pushed me into it! You pushed me! You stopped me of sex, and I... Well, Evelyn, mm -hmm. I did what I did, okay? But if I'm a rapist, it's better than being a killer. Okay, you killed her. Bruno, you better stop saying that because I did not kill her. It was a bloody mistake! Stop, okay? Baby, baby, baby. Bruno, just stop, okay? Stop. What is your problem? How are we supposed to make babies if we don't do this? And we need babies. Come on, Mila. <laughs> Bruno, listen. Marriage is not all about making babies, okay? If you would excuse me, I need to sleep. Get a hold of yourself. Could you let Thank you. I saw you with her. Oh, yes, I did. And don't even try to deny it. Because I got you red-handed. 
with who? I don't know what you're talking about. You're going to stand in my face and lie? I don't know what got into me. I'm so sorry. I don't know. I don't know what... I don't know. I'm, but you... You starved me. It's not your fault. I'm sorry. I don't know what got... I don't, I don't know what got into me. I don't know what have you gained. I, no, really. I, I want to know what you have gained. I'm sorry. Why are you doing this? I'm sorry. Listen. You are dragging our names in the mud. And if this gets out there, Bruno, you'll be finished. You know, God help you. God help you because you have totally lost it. You've lost it! Even say another word to me. Is there something you would like to tell me about that thing in your tummy? Surprise, surprise. I know everything, my darling. Oh, yes, I do. Anyways, there's really nothing to worry about, okay? Absolutely nothing. I will not freak out on you, and you, in turn, you do not need to freak out. All you need to do is fasten your seat belt because it will be a bumpy ride. So, it's okay. It's okay. Come. No need to freak out. Okay, relax. Okay, Mila has promised not to freak out on you. So yes, it's a you know thing. life is just like a circle. What goes around comes back around. You don't need nobody to tell you. It's certain you reap what you sow. Do not be surprised when your past come knocking at the door. Yeah. Hey. So, yeah. your mistress maid is pregnant. What? Hey, Bruno, why do you have that look on your face? I mean, you did it with her anyway, so what were you expecting? A ball? Hmm? So we do nothing about, about the whole thing? There's nothing. Listen, you do not pee, you do not sneeze, you do not zone out. Okay? Nothing at all. The good thing about it is that I will not shout. Please, please, Mela, please don't do this. Please. But that is my prize. 
I'm not asking you to kill somebody. Come on. Mila is such a nice wife, don't you think? Listen, that child belongs to me. Yes. Because that same child belongs to my legally married husband. So, I want that child. And so, it's easy. <laughs> so, husband, I am a sweet wife. Smile, husband. I have heard what you two said. It's difficult for me. But I'll leave the child. It's okay, Evelyn. It's okay. It's alright. Okay, do not cry. Listen. Four million Naira. It's a whole lot of money and it will change your life for good. See, you do not have anyone to look after this child. So this is for your own good. You need to accept this offer. I mean, it's not like you have any other choice though, but look on the brighter side, okay? Listen, my husband and I will be paying you 60% of the money by next week. So you see, we want the best for you. Okay? It's okay. You'll be fine. Trust me. Where do you think you're going with that child? Hmm? 
I'm going back to my village. I can't leave my baby. I love my baby. Evelyn, you cannot go back on this deal. It is not possible. You can't do that. Madam, please. I'm no more interested. If it's the money, I'll, I'll pay you back. I'm leaving, but I can't live without my baby. Can I have that baby? Oh Evelyn, can I have that child? Oh Evelyn! Oh Evelyn! Oh I said, give me that child! Oh that child to me! Oh oh have that child! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my Bruno! 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 It was a mistake! in, okay? Because this is murder. I know what do you mean we need to turn ourselves oh, in? Oh, it was a mistake. I guess oh. we cannot turn ourselves in. Oh murder, God. intentionally or not intentionally, is a jail term for life. And I'm not ready to risk my life. Listen, we will put our lives in jeopardy if we do this, okay? Please, let's just take her out, okay? Okay, let's, 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 let's dump her somewhere. Please! Come on! Please! Let's look for something to wrap up! Please! Okay. Please! Okay. And you can. Okay. Bruno! Hurry up! Oh, God! I went that far just to cover our tracks. Listen, Bruno. Listen, I'm sorry. Okay, I am entirely sorry that something like this had to befall us. Yeah, but it's not my fault. Okay? It's your fault. Yeah, you Bruno, this is not the time to apportion blames. It is not. We need to do something. You think? You know, we need to run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. We need to run and fast. Okay? Okay? Yeah. We... Babe, let's go. Yeah. Bring the other bag. Yeah. Hurry up! 
Oh! Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. And what do you two think you've run into? Who's that? Who? What are you doing here? And what's going on? Officers. Take them away. Wait, what's this about? They killed my sister. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. What do you want? I want justice. Justice is all I want. Who would you think that she didn't have anyone? Or she has me, her sister. How dare you two? You succeeded in deceiving the agency that brought her to you that she stole your money and ran away. That is all a lie. Because she told me every single truth. From when you started whipping her to when your stupid wifey came up with her outrageous demands. Oh, Chloe, see, I don't understand this house again. That man is always disturbing me at night. I don't know if there's anything I can just do. Let me, I want to just leave this house as soon as I can. See, this man will rape me. Oh. Hey. I I don't even know what to do. I'm so confused. I don't know. Okay, please, somebody's knocking. Please let me call you back. Who's there? I don't know what to do again, Chloe. I really don't know what to do. How, how do I even manage this pregnancy? How do I manage it? God. I don't know why I allowed myself to be disused. Okay, okay. Now, that is stupid wife is, is asking me to do the unthinkable. She said I have to give birth to the child and then leave. They promised to give me four million. Hey, God. So what do you want? It's your life we're talking about here. Do you want the money or your child? Just do your wish. I'll always support you as your boss and madam. Come on, come on. And when she finally wanted out, you two killed her. Murderers. Terrible human beings you are. I orchestrated my way into your office as an intern. A ploy just to get close to you and have you confess. And here you are. What exactly was the crime? My wife is um, emotionally unavailable. Emotionally unavailable? Yes, yes. I was, um, I was sex starved. Um, she doesn't like sex. My wife, we couldn't birth a child. It was a very trying time for us. You know, uh, so I, uh, I started raping the house help at the time. Her name was Evelyn. She got pregnant and uh, my wife found out she decided she wanted to keep the baby. In order to pacify her, I agreed. I spoke to Evelyn and she agreed after she gave birth. But something happened, you know? And uh, my wife pushed her and she died. 
She wanted out and you two find a way to kill her. Really? <sighs> what really does she do to deserve this? What? <laughs> Officers! Hold on, hold on, hold on, it wasn't me, okay? I didn't kill her, it was her killed her. What do you mean it was her? Oh, you really? Oh, you must have done it with mistake! What you? But it wasn't me! It wasn't me! I'm sure you know this is me. No. <laughs> We won't be in this position yes, right now. This is my fault. Your right will be red. You get lost. Your right will be red. Oh yeah, the station. Wait, I didn't. I didn't kill her. What is? What did you kill her? What is it? All your fault. This is all your fault. How is it my fault? Yes, it is your fault. I didn't kill her. this man. No, I'm zipped up. We won't be here. Hey, move it. This is all your fault. How is it my fault? You came all the way from Ghana to achieve this. And you succeeded. Your sister would be very, very happy with you. I feel okay. It's okay. You'll be fine. It's okay. Don't worry. I'm gonna take care of you from now. I'm here now. You know life is just like a circle. What goes around comes back around. You don't need nobody to tell you. It's certain you reap what you sow. Do not be surprised when your past come knocking at the door. Yeah. Just be ready for it cause I'm coming back right after you. Coming back right after you. I'm coming back right after you. I'm coming back right after.